been going on. Problem right now is, you know, I'm come, I've asked to be weaned off one of my final meds and it's so potent. Six weeks of pancreatitis and I will tell you, oh my goodness, there were times my mom was here. I could only lay my head. She put an ice cube. I would throw up from an ice cube. Hmm. So in, that was their, they had to resort to something to calm all, all of it because it was six weeks straight and that's how I lost a lot of my weight. And so I asked, I've been asking, people don't wean off this, you know. Yeah. These are opioids, usually go the other way. What happened, I was getting, all of a sudden I started vomiting, diarrhea, my nose was running, my mouth, I mean it was every little thing. And we didn't even know what was causing it. Rod goes online and I'm getting every physical side effect. And I made a video because people were asking if I'm addicted. I was talking, in my head I was talking psychologically because I can, I drop things like crazy. It's e that part is easy, but my body is physically addicted to, um, to the patch. And was what it a narcotic? Yeah, it's an opioid. Now you're, you're cold turkey off? No, not yet. Now, and what had happened, I was so constipated, there were 40 rocks stuck, and that was worse than anything I had experienced. I got off, I was like boom, boom, boom. Now we're at the very final stages so I can get it off, but I asked for it. And when, what when happened- will you completely be off? Hopefully just a couple more months. Oh, and that's okay. it. Because I, was, I did it a bit fast and what I'm fighting now, cause I'm vomiting and diarrhea, so it's electrolytes I'm fighting the withdrawal symptoms because I'm vomiting and diarrhea so my electrolytes are depleting and trying to avoid refeeding so it's it's been hard yeah. but it's worth it because I will be medication free soon that's and good. that's where I want to be again yeah you, at one time so they many had side effects from that's those. what I'm seeing at one time in one hospital they tried to give me 23 pills one was for heart, cholesterol, I mean, but they were all to combat every side effect. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Do you know I'm not on any antidepressant at all and I haven't been for years? This I am her antidepressant. He's my anti. Uh, people are, I was honestly. Say, it's I'm people to be like you, say. social media, they've kept me. What about living in California? So, uh, yeah, mean, yeah. That, that alone. That is, just being back home. Yeah. you know helps you know being Beautiful in so life. many treatment Beautiful centers place. absolutely i used opioids but i didn't think i was addicted because i wasn't experiencing any euphoria you know and i was right about that part but only partially you see because what i found out in the process of weaning off of this that my body was violently physically addicted. So you see, I was addressing that psychological euphoria was easy for, that part was easy for me. And, but the physical side, phew, could never have seen that coming. I, I don't have hunger anyways, and I don't wait till I'm hungry, so. Being, not having an appetite, it's irrelevant because I have to eat. It doesn't matter whether I'm hungry or not. You know what's so weird now? Under opioids, instead of saying you're, it, you won't be as hungry or whatever, they put anorexia. And that's all, it's not anorexia nervosa, it's the condition of being malnourished. It, I even looked the other day, it's on pet medication. How it's explained to me is I'm opioid tolerant. So my receptors are very full. And let's say someone took the same dose, like you took the same dose, he said. Mm -hmm. you, it would knock you on your butt. But when you have such a tolerance to it, 
nothing's going to help anyways. Yeah. It's like so a normal by bringing day, right? the receptors down, then maybe something like CBD oil might help. You know, something way less potent and way less dangerous might help the nausea because that's why things aren't working right now with a relief of any kind of pain. So, and I, you know, I'm not complaining. I, people go through much worse, but it just, I need to understand it in my head, you know? Yeah, well, it's a part of your story and the situation you're going through. And like you said, you're battling from all kinds of angles and a uh, true I fighter, you know, I, I could say it, but a true fighter in me is someone who, uh, overcomes adversity and yeah that's what's it with what you're doing multiple levels i can it's like that thing i can always do better i can always do better you know yeah. well, i got i can't give 90 percent. i have to give 150 yeah. and be relentless with it no matter how i feel but you know it is what it is it's life and so much of our story people don't know yeah there's like little movies that it's like, but it's all gonna happen and it will all come out. And that's the beauty of it, you know, being vulnerable, transparent, only heals. You know, I didn't so. realize how many people this would affect when we first oh. started. And I'm, I'm just yeah. proud to be a part of it. I know it's yeah. a lot of I'm honored pain, and, but we'll get there. No, but I'm honored, you know, I'm really honored. Yeah. So that's why I tell people to poop unicorns and crap rainbows. <laughs> oh, Love you guys. stay in clutch. Stay in clutch.